In this video, we're going to discuss goals, your personal life goals, and our goals together for beating MS. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Hey! Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I'm the founder of the Boster Center for Multiple Sclerosis, where we care for families impacted by MS from around the globe, both in office and on telemedicine. We accept all major insurance carriers, and we're currently actively enrolling for clinical trials. Today, I want to talk to you about goal setting. When we meet in clinic to game out how to beat multiple sclerosis, part of that involves starting an MS drug. But I think it's foolish to begin the conversation talking about picking a medicine. It makes a lot more sense to me to go back a couple steps and start with goal setting. And in specific, there's two sets of goals I think we need to discuss. The first are your long-term personal goals. Now, I can't tell you what those are. Only you know deep inside what those goals are. And I'm gonna challenge you or assign you a homework assignment to write down those long-term goals. What are they? Do you wanna walk your daughter down the aisle on her wedding night? Do you want to finish your PhD? Or do you want to get your master's degree? Do you want to obtain a certain position in your enterprise or company? Do you want to climb Monte Picchu? I need you to write those goals down on a piece of paper. And when I meet my patients in clinic, I ask them to read them to me. Why? Because as we move forward in time, you will have MS the whole time. It's a disease that you're going to die with, not from. And along the journey, I'm going to be asking you to do all kinds of things. Take medicines, go to therapies, come visit me in clinic, put your head in an MRI machine. And you're not going to agree to do it because I'm so charismatic. You're going to do it because you understand that we're a team and that together we're trying to help you achieve your life goals. And we're trying to ensure that MS doesn't interfere. That's super important. And I really think that's where both of us need to start in our planning for taking a disease modifying therapy. So what are they? Write down your life goals. And if you're feeling brave, include one or two of them in the comments section below. I would love to read them and so would the viewers on this channel. Now, once we've set some life goals in place, it's still not time to talk about taking a medicine. The next order of business is another set of goals to discuss. This time, the goals of treating your multiple sclerosis. And let me share with you my approach to this. I'm a proponent of NEDA, no evidence of disease activity. When I'm treating MS, it's my goal that we will have no attacks. It's my goal that we'll have no new spots on MRI. It's my goal that your exam does not change over time. And lastly, number four, I want rates of brain volume loss to be normal. In other words, I want the rate at which your brain shrinks over time to be that of the healthy population and not sped up by MS. Those are four things, and so we refer to this as NEDA4, no evidence of disease activity. Now, if you ask me, well, Aaron, what's the likelihood that we'll achieve that for the entire length of my disease? It's probably zero. At which point you may say, well, wait a second, that doesn't make any sense. What a dumb goal if you can't achieve it. I disagree. Setting a goal is setting a target. It's something to work towards. And I'll use the analogy of American basketball in the big tournament, the March Madness. So I imagine at the beginning of the basketball season, 64 different coaches tell 64 groups of young men, boys, because that's how I imagine coaches talk, boys, this is our year. We are going to win national championships. Now, if you think about it, you might say, well, gosh, 63 coaches are liars because only one team gets to win the tournament. But what the coach is really saying is he's saying, gentlemen, we will conduct ourselves like champions. We will practice like champions. We will eat and sleep like champions. We will have a champion mindset. And it's with that mindset that they set their goal for trying to win national championships. If they eat and sleep and practice and behave like champions and they come in second in the nation, they still did a really good job. And if on the first game of the season they lose, they don't disband the team and fire the coach. They reassess, they make some changes, and they re-up and they start back again. 
Another way of thinking about NEDA is that giant sign in the factory that says, days since last accident. And each day that there is an accident, they flip the sign over. Two days, three days, four days, a hundred days, maybe you get a pizza party. Now, if on the 101st day there's an accident, they don't close the factory. They pause, they figure out what happened, they make some changes, and then they set it back to zero. The same thing applies when using NEDA as a target. The reason I like NEDA is because it's quantifiable. Did you have an attack? Did you have new spots on your MRI? When I do neuro testing, has it progressed or gotten worse from the last time I examined you or the last time I ran you through the, the MS Olympics with the peg test and the walking and the so on and so forth? When we use a volumetric analysis on your MRI, do we notice that the rate that your brain is shrinking is that of a healthy control or is it accelerated? These are things that we can quantify so we can identify if we're hitting the target or not. And if we're not hitting the target, it's actionable it bears a discussion and probably a change of course of action. Goal setting is really important. And it's my strong opinion that you start with your life goals and then you start with setting realistic goals for what you're trying to accomplish in MS. If you'd like to learn more about MS treatment philosophy, click the playlist that's on your screen right now. My name's Aaron Boster and I wanna thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or my next live stream, or the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, be safe and take care.